Hello and welcome back again Coffee Beans. This is Agricultural Structures and Building Constructions. Definition of Terms S. Safety Distance Guarding A means of providing guarding where the possibility of inadvertent contact with the hazard is minimized by the combination of the guard configuration and the distance between the guard and the hazard. Safety Factor Providing strength beyond that needed as an extra margin of insurance against parts failure. Scaffolding is the temporary structure of wooden poles and planks providing platform for working men to stand on while erecting or repairing a building. Scum, layer of floating material on the slurry. Section modulus, it is the measure of the strength of a beam according to the arrangement of the material. Sedimentation tank, a unit in which water or wastewater containing settable solids retained to remove by gravity a part of the suspended matter. Seepage, the loss of liquid by infiltration from a canal. Reservoir manure tank or manure stack. Self-feeder, a device holding feed and from which livestock can obtain feed ad libitum. Semi-permanent fasteners, include nails. These are fasteners that are driven into the material it holds. Semi-solid manure, manure which has had some bedding added or has received sufficient air drying to raise the solids content such that it will stack has a lower but has a lower profile than solid manure and seepage displacement pumps or be handled with a front-end loader. Sensors, any sensing devices which are monitored by the system. Septage, septic tank pumping. The mixed liquor and solid contents pumped from septic tanks and dry wells used for receiving domestic type sewage. Septic system, an on-site waste disposal system designed to treat and dispose of domestic sewage. Septic tank, a settling tank in which settled solid matter is removed from the wastewater flowing through the tank and the organic solids are decomposed by anaerobic bacterial action. Settling basin, a relatively long-term separation structure, larger in size than a settling tank. Settling channels. A continuous separation structure in which settling occurs over a defined distance in a relatively slow-moving manure flow. Settling tank. A relatively short-term separation structure. Larger in size than a settling basin. Sewerage. The entire system of sewage collection. Treatment. And disposal. Sewer. A channel or conduit that carries wastewater and storm water runoff from the source to a treatment plant or receiving stream. Sewer overflow. Flow of wastewater that exceeds the treatment capacity. Shade building or other object used to shield livestock from direct solar radiation, generally lightweight structure with solid or perforated roof and open walls to permit maximum air movement while blocking direct sunlight. Shading, to prevent excess solar radiation in a building. Shallow storage structure, grain storage with a square or rectangular floor plan used to store grain where the width of the building is greater than two times the height of the grain at the wall. Shear diagram, is a graphical representation of the values of the vertical shear throughout the length of a beam. Shearing stress, are those tending to cause two contiguous parts of a body to slide relative to each other in a direction parallel to their plane of contact. Shed, single sloped roof. Shed roof, is the simplest and easiest to construct and maintain. It is common sight on single story poultry houses, open sheds for cattle or swine, and similar buildings. Short circuiting of air, air movement patterns in which air moves directly from the inlet to outlet openings of a room instead of the desired uniform pattern. Side rails. Members that support ladder rungs. Siding. Exterior sheathing on walls. Silage. Forage preserved in a succulent condition by partial fermentation in a tight container. Silage load. The load that the silage exerts on the silo wall after compaction of the silage is completed. Sill. Bottom edge of building wall framing. More accurately called sill plate. Silo. A cylindrical structure used for storage of high moisture forage. Silage and grain. Silo chute. A multi-purpose enclosure mounted on the exterior wall of tower silos used for the discharge of stored materials. Access into the structure for adjustment and maintenance of silo filling and discharge equipment. And or various functions appertenant to proper utilization of the structure. Silo door. Generally a rectangularly shaped door mounted flush to interior wall and opening inwardly. Which is a unit consists of a dual rung and or hinge assembly and latching devices. And specifically designed to perform its purposes. Silo gas. Nitrogen dioxide formed during the fermentation of ensilage. Simple solid column. Consists of a single piece of wood. Square or rectangular in cross section. Single span greenhouse. An independently erected greenhouse set apart from other structures. Skylight. Roof window or translucent building material which admits natural light, usually fiberglass. Plastic or glass. Slab. Flat piece of concrete. Wood or other rigid materials. Slab. The exterior portion of a log removed in sawing lumber and other wood products. Slab pole, a pole modified to provide flat surfaces for attaching framing members. Slat, single solid piece of a slotted floor. Slaughterhouse, building designed for processing livestock into edible meat. Slenderness ratio, is the unbraced length in inches divided by the dimension of the least side. 
sliding door, large wall door supported by a roller on a horizontal overhead tracks a door opens horizontally along the wall. Slope, the ratio of the rise and run, height or length, referring to a roof, floor, ramp, drainage channels, etc. Slot grid, slotted floor grid, floor grid, slotted floor unit with slats interconnected for load sharing and ease of fabrication and handling. Slotted floors, the floor surface of a building which has open spaces. Cracks are slots to allow manure and other waste material to pass through the floor. Slot litter type, combination of slotted and litter type flooring wherein slats cover 60% of the total floor and 40% is covered with litter. Slotted type, type of flooring with openings to facilitate cleaning of the droppings. Sludge, the precipitate or settled solids from treatment. Coagulation, or sedimentation of water or wastewater, deposits on bottoms of streams or other bodies of water. Slurry, a mixture of solids and liquids which will flow as a liquid and create a surge force. Slurry manure, manure in which the present total solids content approximates that of excreted manure. Snow load, the load imposed on a structure by the amount of snow and ice on the roof. Soffit, area under the even beyond the exterior wall of a building. Soffit board or soffit panel, board or panel which partly or completely closes the soffit. Softwood, is a type of plywood which is most common for structural use. Solid content, the sum of the dissolved and suspended constituents in water or wastewater. The residue remaining when the water is evaporated away from a sample of sewage. Other liquids, or semi-solid masses of material and the residue is the dried at a specified temperature, usually stated in milligrams per liter or percent solids. Solid manure, manure which has had sufficient bedding or soil added, or has received sufficient air drying to raise the solids content to where it will stack with little or no seepage. Solid manure storage, a storage unit in which accumulation of solid manure are stored before subsequent handling and field spreading. Solid or grade floors, are floors which may be built at ground level, i.e., on the soil within the building. Solid piston manure pump, a piston manure pump which uses a solid piston to move manure. Sow wash, special stall for washing sows, usually part of gestation of farrowing area. Space heat, heat added to room air with air circulation to provide more uniform temperatures. Span, the distance between vertical supports of structural members. Spectral transmittance, the transmission of light in the various regions of the spectrum. Spiral, continuously around reinforcement in the form of cylindrical helix. Splash board, treated lumber placed on a wall between the ground and other construction liner material. Splice, a device for connecting adjoining members. Splice column, a mechanically laminated column that contains one or more end joints. Spliced column, a mechanically laminated column that contains one or more end joints. Splits, a lengthwise separation of the wood due to a tearing apart of the wood cells. Split type plant, digester and gas chamber for separate units. Squeeze chute, a short narrow passage with at least one adjustable side to tightly restrain cattle for treatment. Stable, a building used for the feeding and lodging of horses and other livestock. Staging, a more substantial framework progressively built up as a tall building rises up. Stairs, a series of steps leading from one level or floor to another. Or leading to platforms pits, crossovers, or around machinery, tanks or other equipment. Staircase, is a whole set of stairs. The structure containing a flight of a stair. Stall, space allocated, usually, to one animal at a time. Stall barn, is a structure, sometimes referred to as a stanchion barn for sheltering airy cattle and or young stack where the adult animals are confined to one or more rows of stall by means of stanchions. Straps for part of the year. Stall base, permanent or semi-permanent materials forms the floor, of the free stall. Stall base slope, is the total slope of the stall base from the front of the stall to the top of the curb. Stall bedding, material is added on top of stall base to make the stalls more comfortable. Reduce injuries, and absorb moisture and manure tracked into the stall. Stall curb, serves to separate the stall area from manure in the litter alley. Stall curb height, is measured from the top of the alley floor to the top of the curb on the alley side. Stall front, prevents cows from moving too far into the stall and dunging within the stall. Stall front height, is the vertical distance from the top of the curb to the top of stall front. Stall length, is the distance from the alley side of the curb to the stall front. Stall partition, separates side by side free stalls from each other. Stall width, is the distance between the center lines of partitions. Stanchion stall, stall with two upright bars hinged at the bottom and latched at the top for restraining an animal around the neck, used primarily for dairy cows. Staple, term used to designate length of fiber in cotton, wool, or flax. Static inclined screen, a screen, mounted on an incline, over which manure passes as it flows by gravity from a top head box. Step, is a stair which consists of one tread and one riser. 
Step height is the vertical distance from the reference point to the juncture of the step face and bunk apron. Steps is an assembly consisting of a tread and a riser. Stiffness is the ability to resist deformation under stress. Stirrer, mixer or agitator. Mechanical device inside the digester used to stir the slurry. Stirrup is the structural reinforcing member that holds or binds together the main reinforcement of a beam or a girder to a designed position. Storage facility, a location at which fluid bulk pesticide or fluid bulk fertilizer is stored. Potato storage, a structure designed and constructed for storing potatoes in bulk. Stress, any force causing or tending to cause a change in a structure. Stringer, is an inclined plane that supports or holds the tread and the riser of a stair. Structure, is a combination of resistant bodies capable of transmitting forces or carrying loads but having no relative motion between parts. Studwall, vertical wall framework using dimension lumber or prefabricated metal studs usually spaced 406 to 610 mm, 16 to 224 inches, on center with a bottom, sill, and a top wall plate. Stunning pen, compartment which is suitable for confining only one animal at a time while it is being stunned and which is so constructed as to confine without discomfort, to prevent any substantial movement of the animal forward, backward or sideways, substrate, organic material used to produce biogas, surface check, a check occurring on the tangential surface of a board or other piece of wood and extending across the annual growth rings into the interior, surface measure, SM, the surface area of a board in square feet, to determine surface measure multiply to width of the board in inches and fractions by the length in feet and divide the product by 12, formula is, Width in inches times length in feet divided by 12. Suspended or above grade floors are floors which may be supported on joists and beams. Swelling increase in the dimension of wood due to increased moisture content. Swelling occurs tangentially, radially, and to a lesser extent, longitudinally. Hope it helps. Thank you again for listening. Please like, subscribe, and comment your suggestion on topics you want to hear. Links of previous topics are stated in the description box below. See you in the next part. Bye. Rar.